would you suggest read it? But, oh, you know, okay, I like that. That's a, you know, I got you. Um, who would I suggest? Who would I suggest reading this book? Mm. All people who plan to aspire to something in life. Mm. Um, all people who plan to aspire to something in life. I really love the way the book is broken down um, into, into three parts: aspiration, success, and, and failures. Mm. You know. Um, and, and I think it's good to even address, especially when you talk about the ecosystem in any book, I think it's good to address the same way the author addresses it in the book. Who are we to talk about this book? You know what I'm saying? Who are we to tell you, that, like, hey, lower your ego. Your ego is actually the reason why you lose at everything that you do. Mm -hmm. The exact reason why you lose at everything that you do, everything you've aspired to do before and haven't completed, your ego is the reason why you fail. Mm -hmm. Who are we? To kind of tell people that, you know right. what I'm saying. Um, yeah. And I think the, I think they were one of the best people to explain it. Um, out of the fact that at one point we had to lower our own egos to get out of a yeah. bad situation, to get ourselves out of a bad spot in life. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. to really, really minimize the ego. Yeah. To really understand, like, hey, you know what? Like, man, that landlord situation, not going well. <laughs> not going well at all. Right. You know, it's not like, hey, I'm not paying this guy. Man, this guy is like, all of a sudden, he's real hot, real temperamental, real angry because somebody else isn't necessarily, you know, coming up with, with their portion of it. Or now he's trying to put his past, his past tenants uh, under the same restraints as new tenants who's actually paying him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and to actually have to minimize your ego in that moment and say, hey, even though I'm paying you, you're mad at this. Hey, let's sit down and have, let's sit down and, and, and actually talk about this. Let's sit down and actually move forward. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know. So, so yeah. And, and even then, just other situations financially. You know, how am I like, coming at the end of the year and I'm having one of my best financial years ever? But I've spent everything that I made, every dollar. The same amount that's made is also spent. Mm -hmm. And and dropping your ego in the moment to not look at the fact of how much money you made, but how much money you blew off and say, I need to do better the next year. Right. And actually mean it and actually do better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I, I just think it's good to, to kind of address that, especially whenever we're talking about like ego is the enemy. Because I'm sure this will be a part two book and a part three book, maybe, depending on how our conversation flows with it. But yeah, for sure. Um, you know, whenever talking about this book, you have to check your own ego to make sure you're not even lending it to someone because you feel like, hey, you need this more than I do. You know what right. I'm saying? Or I just want to feel good about me giving this book to you and, and it helping you. And you know what I'm saying? You coming back and saying, man, I'm glad you gave me this book because this book has changed and I'm only feeding, it's only fueling my ego that, of how I feel about myself, how I see myself. You know what I'm saying? So coming from the most humbling spot possible, I believe this book is definitely good to all those who aspire to anything else. Okay, that was nicely worded. <laughs>